Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I want to get into a topic that I've been excited to get into for about three days, no about two days when I got this comment on one of my YouTube videos. Now this was actually something I did definitely did not expect to see uh, whenever I <laughs> received a comment, right? I put out a video titled, I can't beat this pure fiction, right? And someone commented with a genuinely super awesome, helpful uh, reply. And we are going to get into a few of the things. We're going to break this down one by one. We're going to fully respond to this. I, I told him I was going to respond in the form of a video. Uh, and I've been inspired to, you know, kind of, you know, make a video about this because I've been wanting to talk about this for a while now. Um, why will not she shut up? What, what, why, why, what is she waffling about? All right, we're, we're gonna, we're just gonna get into this here. Right. So let's get, yeah, let's go, let's start one by one and let's get a few, a few uh, through a few things. So I checked up on your characters that you put up for your showcase helper looking the Enka site, uh, using the Enka site, and notice is that you should farm more gear. That is factual. I've been spending all my energy for weeks now just farming gear that is all i've been doing just farming gear um i used all my energy today already to go through a round of simulated world so that i could uh use all my energy to open up the the thingies and get the more orbs and ropes i didn't find a single good orb or rope um at least i don't remember maybe i did uh but i the moment i find a good piece of gear the moment I'm, you know, I'm farming gear, I get a few golds. I click on all the legendaries and see what I have that are good and not. Uh, clearly, you can see the general idea. I know what is good and what isn't. Sometimes I just don't see it. And I also have this probably incorrect mentality of I like forming sets with my gear. Um, people say stats over sets, and I agree for the for like you know, I, I agree, right? But it, it's hard for me to not make a set because I just want to so bad. So you're going to see that as maybe a theme of why I can't make these combinations, things like that. And I realize that, you know, I have messed up and that is a fault of mine. But the reality is, right, if we go here right, and we go to the, the guide, right, I have, I have, 12 out of 12, I'm missing one star in the Forgotten Hall. I'm missing one star. And it's not even on the last one. I'm 99% sure it's on 11. Yeah, it's on 11. And it's mostly just because I, I clap the Sam fight. I have an incredible team for the Sam fight. The problem is this one. Uh, I can try it again probably, and I probably will. But I, I was having a little bit of trouble with this. But I think I'm only two cycles over. I could definitely see myself you know, getting back to completing that as well as the fact that if we go back again, nope, we go back again. Uh, in pure fiction, I actually did manage to get 11 out of 12 and I'm going to attribute that to something that was actually, you know, talked about here. Uh, the reason I really can't get this last star, I tried so many different combinations and I tried doing it. Uh, I believe if I had Herda, I would easily do it. I do not have a Herda built. And also a recommendation that you're going to see later was that uh, he recommended that I use Clara in this last fight because the enemies take a lot of turns and the boss boosts their turn order. So they will go, you know, more than usual even on top of that. And they will just keep going and taking turns and Clara can just keep blasting and blasting and blasting. The problem is that, which you may see with my Clara whenever we go over her, She's level 70. I really have not put a lot of resources into Clara. If the characters that are 80, I have put somewhat of a decent amount of resources into. Clara was kind of left in the dust at a point. Right? Uh, I don't have Argenti, but I was maybe hoping to get him next time he comes out, if that's a possibility. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. But also, there's two new uh, physical characters coming out now. There's Bootleg coming out. He's Hunt. We're going to have to see what his kit looks like. Because, let's be honest, like, in my opinion, right, I, I just, I want to build characters that I find fun as well, right? And I just don't find Clara as fun, right? 
And same for Herda. I, I know it's going to be like, I got a lot of work to put into Herda. And then the only thing I can really use it for is pure fiction, right? And I'm one star away from completing this pure fiction. I have completed all the other pure fictions in the past. I've gotten the full stars. I, I ended up getting the full stars in all the past ones that maybe I couldn't have beat. Um, on my very first time through, I ended up getting all the stars. This is the first time I feel kind of genuinely stuck. And I don't feel like I want to dump hours and hours and hours of resources into these characters in order to maybe uh, get one star and then like, you know. But, I mean, yeah, let, let's get into the next kind of uh, thing that was said here, right? Um, Bronya. Okay, wait, no, no. That's, that's, your blade is lacking a lot of crit rate. 25% on stat sheet, then 16% with Longevous set procs and battle, which ends up being a total of 41%. This is way too low, and you should swap to a crit rate body. In the meantime, you'll get uh, until you get better gear. Prioritize crit rate over crit damage. Remember that crit damage is only good when you land the crit. Mm -hmm, obviously. Uh, consistency over higher potential. If you really want to keep the crit damage body, then you have the option, which is, by the way, is cope because it will only be better than what you were currently because it complete cope, but it will be better than what you're currently using uh, to use three star light cone mutual demise, which when the light cone is at max gives you 24% crit rate when below 80% HP, which should be easy to maintain as blade constantly draining his HP. Anyways, there's 24% crit rate for the light cone when you current rate your current crit rate makes you uh 65% crit rate. Uh not the best, but for sure better than what you had before. Right? So this was kind of my theory with why I was using the crit damage one. Uh yes, he can still have high peaks with this, but as you can see, what he also I mean he also gets some crit rate out of this. Right? He also gets some attack out of this. He gets some HP out of this. He scales more with HP for his damage, so getting a a nice 15% HP from this piece is also really good and also getting some attack because he still gets scales with some attack with his damage and then you know the 3.2 percent crit rate um the effect hit rate is obviously like completely useless but let's go to the next best piece that i have right this is this right here is the only crit rate piece yep the only crit rate piece that i have of this set remember i've saved it now, I could for sure land all of the substats in HP and attack, uh, preferably HP, and that would make this actually probably completely okay for me to do. I was more so worried that I would lose out on the value of the, the substats and, you know, my higher peaks. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you're probably right because whenever I use Blade, I am pretty much always using him with a Bronya or a Sparkle which gives him more crit damage. So I just need to crit rather than to have high crit damage because that the crit damage can get, you know, boosted by someone else, but the crit rate will not, right? So he just needs crit rates so that he can crit in general. I, I'm perfectly fine with making the switch. The problem is the piece is level four. That's the genuine problem, right? And I don't want to eat this piece because this would be the piece I would 100% be using if I could actually find you know, if I could actually get another piece of gear to supplement his lack, his current lack of crit rate. Or if I could get more gear that has crit rate on it so I could kind of, you know, boost him up in that regards, I would 100% do it. I, I, that, that would be great. That would be great. But unfortunately, I kind of can't right now. Right? I, I, I'm using this piece over this piece right now, even though this has so much crit damage and speed, just because mostly I just want the crit rate that's on there because my crit rate is already so low i'm already hurting All right and then we got this and i should have the inert cell auto completed the problem is i think this has speed on it yeah this has speed on it this has six speed and it also has wind damage right wind damage is the main stat now i don't need wind damage but i would need at least five speed so i could reach the 134 threshold to take uh two turns right that's kind of what i was going for i could definitely replace uh this right here with something that you know gives me the inert salsado buff so i actually get another eight percent crit rate and then my alt and follow-up attacker increased by 15 percent. i would 100 percent do that i would love to do that on top of that look at these awful god awful substats god awful substats Right, but unfortunately, I don't believe I have an inert salsado piece that has either another inert salsado piece 
that has either, you know, wind damage or HP percent and then gives me five percent, uh, gives me five speed. I could look real quick, uh, for sure. I could look, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make this, this happen. All right. So fire, lightning, imaginary, physical, no, quantum, no. Um, Lightning, no, no, imaginary ice, uh, quantum, okay. Yeah, so no. <laughs> the reality is no. I would need to get very, very, very lucky first. Right, and that's why I have this. This is one of the few cases where I actually do have stats over sets because, because honestly, like, there is no inert cell auto option that is even moderately okay for this character right now as for the ball. And I just did, like I said, a whole simulated universe where I used a whole, you know, 120 energy to use the things after the bosses four times. And I did that all to try and get inert cell auto pieces. In fact, I got so unlucky that I barely got inert cell auto pieces in general. I was just getting pieces of other gear. Of uh, the other set that is with inert cell auto. That was just awful. Um, so that's kind of the very scary and sad state of my current blade right that's where he's at if as soon as i can level this up i'm gonna replace it but honestly i mean obviously a level four piece is not outdoing the level 15 piece at this moment so i need to farm more gear i'll probably do it tonight and i'll probably get this up to 12 and then i can equip it to him 100 percent. sure unfortunately if it goes into defense and effect hit rate it might still be worse right but hopefully it goes into hp it, Hopefully we get like the god piece that quad rolls HP and then we're just happy, right? We're just happy about that. Um, but yeah, that's the current state of my blade. That that is that is the state of my blade. The the really unfortunate part of the state of my blade right now is that my blade should be huge, right? I actually full maxed every talent. I have his like best free to play light cone right now. I have, uh, besides, you know, I no, I think that's actually probably better than. Than the, uh, the the destruction one, but the destruction one is on Jing Liu. Um, my blade should be really good right now, right? The only thing I'm really lacking, like you said, is that crit rate. That's really all I'm lacking, and the unfortunate reality is I just don't know where I can get it from right now, right at this very moment. And unfortunately, a secret vow. This I don't have any copies of this. I wish I did so bad. It is currently S one. I could make him so much stronger. So much stronger. Think about it. It increases by 5% every time you level it. So this 20 will go to, what, 45%? That is so much more. That literally doubles, plus 5%, the effectiveness of the light cone, right? So that would be amazing if I could get some super positions for it. Let's go to Bronya. Bronya... Um, I'm going to let you, I, this, this is with a grain of salt, right? Um, look at Bronya with a grain of salt because I kind of stripped her when Sparkle came out, right? And you can look at my Sparkle build. It's probably one of my best built characters. I'm trying to get her to 161 speed. It is so damn hard, man. It is so hard. I have her stacked with crit damage and I have her 143 speed right now. I have... But the battle isn't over. The 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 free to play five star uh, Bronya's light cone on her, and that is insanely good. I have all of her trait. Well, I don't have these traces up, but these traces aren't really doing much. Just another ten percent crit damage. That would be very very nice. Um, so one hundred percent. Uh, these pieces are actually kind of banger. This is a lot of crit damage. This is a lot of speed on the speed set. Uh, this is. A speed boots with a lot of crit damage on it 16 percent crit damage this piece right here is it has five speed unfortunately this is probably one of the worst ones but it has five percent it has five speed on the speed set and it has hp and defense percent on it so that's some nice subset or that's some nice uh, defensive stats on there to keep her from dying and then on here it's straight up a crit damage one obviously this is what you want to do Unfortunately, this is the best crit damage one I could do. This could definitely have some speed on it. This is probably one of the places that I'm missing it. Uh, right here, this is the this is what people are saying were probably the best set for her because it further increases your crit damage that your allies have by 10% just for being in the battle. Then also gives you uh, 
10% effect resist, so you're not getting affected by anything. And then, you know, also not only did the set give her effect resist, but also the piece has effect resist on it. I actually don't know if we reached the 30 uh, percent for effect resist. Uh, we'll have to see. Oh no, we're so close. Or else it it would it would help her there. Um Oh yeah, okay. So this is actually not affecting my team right now. That that is that is a milestone I'm not making with the set. Uh, that would I would definitely like to improve that or just not use the set at all because obviously that's kind of the whole buff of the set, right? Right now the only thing I'm getting out of the set itself is 10% effect resist, and nobody's nobody's scrounging and screaming and crying and crawling across the floor for some effect resist, right? I mean nobody is really doing that. It's just a semi decent stat to have. The most reason why I have this is because it has energy regeneration rate right on it, um, and this right here is it has HP percent and it has crit damage. So it has 11% crit damage. That's the real reason I'm using it. That is pretty much the only reason we don't know. We don't care about break effect or attack or flat HP uh, on this piece at all. We are just in it for the fact that the HP is, you know, percented. I think my planner orb inside that this could be a hundred percent better. Right, I could 100% improve this if I went to try and get something else. Right, maybe not an offensive one like that, but maybe something like this. Like, you know what I mean? I think this would actually go kind of hard, but then I would miss out on the crit damage that this has. So, yeah, back to you know what got us here. My Bronya was kind of stripped. A lot of those speed pieces were on Bronya. Uh, before Sparkle came out, and then I was like, I gotta put him on Sparkle, man. I I have to, and that is why she has basically a brand new orb. Uh, this is on her right now, just because it has crit damage on it. Maybe I can get some crit damage there, and it has HP percent as the main stat, so a little bit of defense there. This has energy regen rate on it, so that's pretty nice. Um, and then she has a few speed pieces that you know that are kind of second place to the set, uh, to the pieces. That I currently have on Sparkle. As you can see, the substats on these are not nearly as good as the ones on Sparkle. These are kind of decent, right? These are the only ones that really can kind of compare. But this it that would be removing six speed if I had this on her. And also, Sparkles is five percent more crit damage. Sparkles just has the things that Bronya and her want more so than what Bronya has right now. She she was kind of stripped really hard. So take it with a grain of take my Bronya with a grain of salt. I don't have a lot of good gear. That's what I'm saying. I mean, um, I, I have struggled with gear a million percent. Okay. All right. So I like the need energy rope. So no real complaints here. Uh, that said, uh, so yeah, I, I actually couldn't believe that you had no real complaints there. Uh, I assume you just saw it and you were like, yeah, I mean, his subsets are dog shit. He just needs to farm more gear. Um, you should think about using planetary rendezvous light cone when you want to slot Brony, uh, blade on the team. It was immensely help. It will immensely help blade out and damage percent and all his actions versus past and future only buffing his action on his turn. So that was actually really nice. I, I actually did decide. So the reason I had the other light cone on her was because I wanted her to be a little more like, you know, if she's buffing someone and she's taking their turn order, she, you know, she gives them the buff brings up their turn order, and then gives them a damage buff. And it's a damage buff no matter what they are, right? No matter what class they are. But you saying that did kind of make me realize, like, I've only been really using Bronya with Blade, to be honest. So why not, I guess? Um, and then this is permanently on, like you said, and it's like 2% more, I think. Um, let's see. What was I using before? I was using Past and Future. Okay, no, past and future is a little bit more damage, but it's only for the one attack, like you said. Um, this will at least improve my blade the whole combat. Um, and like you like you said, you were actually pretty right there. You were pretty correct there. I really do only use her with uh blade. Okay. Um Tegan had no gear, basically random plus twelve plus four stuff. Yeah. Um I also so I stripped Bronya. To put stuff on Sparkle, and then I kind of stripped uh, Tingyun to put things on Sparkle as well, and to also uh, uh, replace some of the stuff that I put uh, uh, that I took off of Bronya. So my Tingyun has been heavily shafted here, heavily shafted. 
I, I do know that she applies, uh, that she focuses on attack and speed for stats. Um, yes, I, I know I need the energy rope. I think that is genuinely one of the mistakes that I had on her, um, that I was doing on her. I don't know if I have the energy rope. I, I hopefully should. Okay. Yeah, I do now. I do now. Um, this is actually, yeah, this is actually a good, yeah, I ended up having a, I, I just haven't updated her gear in a bit since I kind of just stripped her, but this is actually a pretty good set for her as well in the energy regeneration rope. And so that's pretty nice. Well, um, I think I'll be able to do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her to over 160 speed. It is just so unbelievably difficult with the quality of relics I have on this account. Like, it is so bad. Like, you see how many good pieces, how many high speed pieces are on Sparkle with the speed set itself. And yet I still can't reach that 161 speed. I'm a 143. I have six speed on the goggles, 25 obviously on the boots, uh, none there, five speed on the, on the arm, uh, none there, and none there. So yeah, I'm, I'm really missing it on the rope, the orb, and the, the bag. But the thing is, with the satchel, I don't have any satchels that give me speed. And even if I do, even if we go down here and I do, okay, this one does, but it doesn't have the crit damage, which is actually like what you need. I don't have one with crit damage and speed on it. If I would, if I did, I would 100% be using it, right? It's just a problem where I just don't have the gear for it. Run May, I don't have too many complaints besides Gen's no energy rope part. Uh, I recommend swapping to energy rope, but after you sort out your gear for it, Ron May only needs 160% break effect on a stat sheet to get the full buff effect. Any more just for her talent damage. I personally recommend you try going to slow... Slow Ruan Mei over fast because you don't have her signature or five or S five memories to really cover the break effect drop for drop rope for the energy. Um. Yeah. I I that you're absolutely correct. I don't have the. Uh, Yeah, I, I didn't have enough to actually bring her up to the 160% whenever I took the rope off and gave her an energy one. But I gave her an energy one nonetheless. I still did it. I still have this uh, stat. Um, only unfortunate part is I would be able to reach it if I got 145. So because I have... Oh, no, I do have 145. So let's look at... um Yeah, I'm actually like 10% off of what you said. And also, I'm pretty sure it's 180% effect rate, a break effect. Uh, everyone, everybody, every content creator I, I was hearing say, I want to get to at least 180. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did say, maybe they were saying 160, but I thought it was 180. But I got to 149.1% .1 and I said, you know what? Screw it. That's fine. That That's, that's okay there. Um... We go again. I think getting the 19.4% uh, energy regen is worth it. I think it is worth not having this effect right right here. Um, or this uh this break effect, right? I I think it probably is. Uh, and the reason why I was able to get that one other star, I changed nothing about my about my actual team setup. But whenever I went to try and get that uh third star. On the second to last pure fiction, I actually did it and made up the difference with my Ruan May team because I probably because she was like slamming out alts every five seconds, right? And because her speed is high, she's going a lot of turns and she's, you know, getting a lot of, you know, energy. So I think that that was probably the straw that broke the camel's back. So that's one that I just directly applied and it straight up helped me. It's just that, yeah, I, I am down. In the amount of break effect that would be like peak run may but i mean i think you are absolutely right that it does not let like that having the energy regen rope or not having the energy regen rope is not worth uh you know having a higher a super super high break effect right you'd rather have the energy regen rope than the perfect amount of break effect so Ugh. Jingliu just needs better gear as all more crit rate and 
uh, damage subs. Honestly, I like the build. So I actually really thank you and appreciate that. Um, I think my current problem is if I had six more speed, I know, no, I would need way more speed. It has to go to 160, but whatever. I'm getting the, the 24% uh, attack right now, or the 24% more damage, um, cause I'm above 135 speed and yeah, overall my pieces are just kind of whatever, but decent, like crit damage main stat and then attack percent. Then this is speed, of course, and it has, I mean, this is really unfortunate. This is like, this is the most unfortunate piece. I definitely don't need this much survivability. I don't need this much defensive stats. These rolled into all the wrong things. I would replace HP and defense with uh, crit damage and attack a million times over. Okay, obviously. Uh, that would be amazing for her. That would be amazing. She only has 20.2% crit rate, but I mean, how much crit rate does she get? From using her, uh, from using her stuff. Uh, is it this one? Oh, crit rate increased by forty eight percent. Yeah, yeah. So forty eight percent plus, and what would be the the upgrade? Fifty. Okay, so we'll go up to fifty. Five, six, seven. Okay, actually. If I upgrade that, if I upgrade this to 10 out of 10, the Crescent Transmigration, I will have enough speed to, or enough crit rate to like get this effect. But I don't think I should. But this is obviously pretty good, right? I could do that. I think that's 100% an option. Um, Anyway, let's not get like too carried away here. Um, I have energy regen rate because I think it's really important for Jing Liu and you said that it was good anyway. It has speed, it has crit damage. I wish it had like attack and crit rate and stuff like that, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it's not worth it to, to kind of upgrade that the one last time. But yeah, yeah, uh, this one is a really, 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 really solid piece. I'm actually very, very happy with that. Um, this one is decent enough. Break effect is okay enough, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you already saw, you know, what's up. Seven speed on this attack, uh, is decent. Plus the ice damage boost is good. And it, you know, the set, I was able to do all that and meet all that while also having the set. Um, so that's nice, right? And she has a hundred and, she almost has 190 crit damage. That's without a sparkle buff or a uh bronia buff and that's also before she were to you know get the hunter of glacial forest set uh boost where every time whenever she uses her ultimate and she goes into the transmigration state guaranteed for her next you know two attacks uh her crit damage increases by 25 percent further so she is well over 200 percent crit damage she is well rocking beyond that uh between the buffs that she gives herself the buffs from the the gear and the buffs from other characters uh, from supports what are we doing what are we doing here so thank you uh fushuan i like where the build is going but i recommend a few things yes more farming for gear this is the biggest problem all right i already i mean obviously i already read this i know what you're talking i know what you're talking about i completely agree um I agree that I should go two and two and run the rendezvous in uh, the Guard of Withering Snow set. The problem is I have farmed so much of of this set for her and Blade that I really do have insanely good pieces for this. Like this one is pretty whatever. This one's definitely like one of the most whatever. That one's easily replaceable, but. Uh, this one kind of too, actually. It has the crit damage. Um, speed, this one has crit damage too. Interesting. Am I doing something? Am I dumb here? This one has speed and HP. Basically what I'm saying is a lot of these pieces have speed on it, and she's just barely 134. Um, I agree that the four-piece set for Longevue doesn't really do anything for her. I mean, it's kind of funny that it increases her crit rate because she has so many random crit damage substats. So, Actually, you know, looking more into it, you are kind of correct here. And this one, 
you know, I just feel like I don't have a lot of the stuff that I want. Right. But the energy regen rope is, is on our, um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. But I mean, the, the, the baseline is that if you look, I do not have this set. I, I do not have this set. Like unironically, I do not have pieces of the set. Maybe we will find one or two. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. That's the defense set. Um, let's see. Okay. This is the only piece of that entire set that I have. It's because it's a speed boot set. So this could honestly be decent. Right. If it gets like HP is the bottom thing and then makes it work because her boots aren't like incredible or anything like that. They don't really have any substats that she cares about. Um, yeah, that's where I'm kind of at. I do not have pieces of that other set or else I would definitely instantly start, uh, agreeing with you and, and do, and do that stuff. Since you're wearing Landau's choice light cone, I highly recommend you change your energy rope to a defense rope instead. Why defense rope instead of HP rope or keeping energy rope? The answer is quite simple. Landau's choice LC gives you increased aggro, meaning that more often you're more often to be hit. Getting hit means more energy and more energy means you will give you alt the same as if you use energy rope, but without hits. You don't use HP rope, HP rope because even though Fushuan scales nicely with HP, your lack of defense means that bonus HP doesn't help overall. Having more defense more means that Fushuan takes less damage from energies from hitting her rather than the damage transfer, giving you a better overall survival rate. So basically what he's saying is like, I'm going to be cringe here in league. If you, if you build like 10,000 HP, but you have zero armor, right? Your 10,000 HP is going to melt away in like seven hits that are like one K that are like plus that are like over 1k crits because you don't have any defense. Every time you get defense, you get a lot of defense. The higher your defense is, the more damage you're reducing per point of damage that you're taking, right? Which is also basically making your high HP pull more effective with every point, right? It, it You are taking less damage, right? So even if you have less HP overall, you're taking a higher percentage of less damage, right? So the HP percentage of your character, you're at 100 HP. You know, you have like 10K. Let's say you take 10K, you have 10K HP. You are at 100%. You are at full HP, right? You get hit by something and it deals 15% of your health bar or like 20% of your health bar, right? But then you get some defense. So you have 8K HP and a bunch of defense. Then the hits that you're taking don't even make it to over 1k damage. So you're taking like 8% of your health bar and damage. I, you know, that, that was really, really complicated. I don't even know why I started waffling like that. I did though. Um, but yeah, that was bad. Uh, I 100% I see where you're going with here. And I don't remember if I change. Uh, no, I didn't change this. But yeah, I can go something like an energy rope if I, if I can, um, what's that an energy? Is that what a defense rope? I mean, defense rope instead of HP rope. I could hundred percent do that. I think I'm actually energy regen though. Yeah, I, I'm energy regen. So interesting. You say Okay, yeah, yeah. You said change energy re, uh, regen rope to a defense rope. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is doing me just fine right now. He really does not die. Uh, Fushuan is definitely not an issue for me, an issue on my account at any moment for me. But I would be down to switch this at at some point uh, if I thought that, you know, if I had even a piece to do it, I literally don't have a piece to do it with. Um... Yeah, all of these are energy regen. Huh. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have the piece to do it in general, but even if I did, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she's doing very, very well. Whew. Now we should go over a little bit about character interactions because it seems you don't have a full understanding about some character kits. I already read this. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to try and not get offended. Right. Um, I, but well, let's, you know, let's hear what you say. Sparkle being the biggest one here. Sparkle has a major trace that lets her buff last until the targeted character, uh, next turn start. This alone is one of the reasons why Sparkle is so strong as a buffer. We lack characters who can buff off turn damage example follow up alts but sparkle here does exactly that i don't see you pair up okay so what i don't know what the argument was there i don't know what the argument is here i really don't um i was using sparkle i use sparkle the problem is right if you're if you're Problem is that I was using Bronya and Sparkle together, and Bronya will remove Sparkle's buff. That I did not understand. I did not understand that interaction. I didn't know that when Bronya buffed someone and buffed their crit damage with like her skill or something, it just removed Sparkles. Right? I did not know that. Um, and then I don't see you pair up Jingliu and Blade together. I do this all the time. By the way, I, I'm saying I I'm saying I do this all the time. Jingliu Drain does not uh does proc. Blade passive for stacks, letting him follow it more often. Yep, it's one of my favorite combos in the whole game. Sure, the weaknesses don't line up, but let's be honest, Jing Liu is, is strong enough to not care. Jing Liu covers the damage needed for elites while Blades covers the AoE. I I use that combo all the time. Maybe there's is there a moment in pure fiction where I is there a fight in pure fiction where I'm just being really dumb and I should be using it? Then I'm not? No. I mean, unless we're saying that you think Blade would be better than Himiko even though these characters aren't weak to wind at all and they are weak to fire other than that i don't understand um i use that combo all the time uh for stage two phase two i don't see you bring clara i already went over this my clara is bad i have not built my clara she is awful she is awful i could 100 percent build her right if i wanted to but I've just kind of been saving my resources for characters that I would prefer over her. And let's be honest, like, like I said at the start of the video, guys, I can clear almost everything. I cleared everything but one star of this pure fiction. And who knows, I might actually be able to find a way to complete this, right? I might actually, you know, smurf, right? This is out for how much longer? 31 more days. Like, Acheron will be out. Acheron's banner will be out. Maybe we'll even start adventuring's banner i don't know the exact time zone by the time i think it will still be on acheron but like this is a while away right this won't be going away for a while i have time i have plenty of time and as for the moc i'm only one star away from completing that too i am really close to be able to completing like pretty much everything in the game right and sometimes i'll get stuck on things 100 percent, and i 100 percent love the fact that this was a comment on my video i really genuinely appreciate it and as you could see i actually made changes here right you said uh you, you recommend swapping to an energy regen rope i did and it actually did help me get that one star on stage three of pure fiction uh so yeah uh, i appreciate comments like this so much i know i i maybe came off a little bit defensive there at the end uh but yeah, no, I, I do understand Jing Liu and Blade. I did not understand Sparkle and Bronya. Sparkle and Bronya countering each other. Because Sparkle and Bronya was being used by people like MTash said, Oh yeah, use these with Blade. It's so good. He takes so many he takes millions of turns. And Gotcha Smack was saying it and it's like, wait a minute. Now everybody in my comments though is saying that they don't work together. So I was just really confused. Right, because uh, Ghoul Gaming also said, don't use Bronya Jingyuan support, use Tingyu and Sparkle Jingyuan. Uh, you will clearly, Bronya kills both Sparkle and Bronya's buffs, and then nothing left for Alt or Lightning Lord. Right, so I didn't know that. Right, you guys are both basically telling me that. I think that's what you're trying to say with, with, with this, because I've been using Sparkle, so I don't know what else you'd be trying to say. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Oh, my face. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. Uh, give me a subscribe. I love it. Um, I get so much dopamine whenever I'm at work and I look at my phone and I see like who someone has subscribed to your channel. It's really awesome. It's really kind. I love it. 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you. Thank you. I want to name drop you. Thank you, Leonidas Code 5302. I appreciate this comment more than you could ever know, right? You 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 said like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like you had eight paragraphs. I mean, some aren't paragraphs, but like you had like eight groups of just met like it's just a wall of text and it's all trying to be as helpful as possible. And I really genuinely appreciate it. Peace. Subscribe, like, comment. I love you guys.